Hi guys, this is Jake from Canadian Cutting Edge, and this is my third San Ranmu knife that I'm reviewing today uh, because I've sold three knives and uh, I forgot that I hadn't done reviews on them yet. And so I've got to do the reviews quick before I send them out the door. Um, you know, I have been playing with them and using them and stuff, and that's why I was ready to uh, get some a little bit of income to help buy some other knives for the channel but I needed to get these recorded. This is the 7092 by Sanren Moo. It's a Windrunner design. I tend to really like just about any of the Windrunner designs that Sanren Moo has. Um, I've got no idea who that is, if it's a team or an individual, uh, but uh, the Sanren Moo Windrunner knives are usually rather cool. This is one of those sub three inch knives that a lot of people are needing with a liner lock. And uh, you know, it just feels really good in the hand. And so I wanna share this knife with you guys. If you're interested at all in this knife, please stick around. We'll begin by doing some size comparisons. If you are familiar with San Ren Mu, you're probably familiar with the, the 7010, formerly known as the 710, uh, the probably the most popular San Ren Mu knife. Then we'll compare it with this knife. I'm lining up the pivots as well as I can. And you can see the two knives are very similar in size. If you've got a Ontario Rat 1, then you've got a knife We'll line it up at the back here this time. That's quite a bit bigger. If we line up the pivots, you know, it's just bigger in every which way. Or perhaps you own a Spyderco Tenacious and it looks something like that compared to the uh, San Ramu 7092 that we're looking at today. Uh, it's a Good looking knife that feels very good in the hand. That's my summary statement of this knife. Um, so let's look at some of the details before we uh, get on to doing some cutting tests. Uh, we've got, um, this knife comes in black, green, or brown. Um, I bought mine at Gearbest, but I'll put the links in the, the description below for you to purchase this knife from Gearbest if you'd like to. I put those links there for your um, ease of use plus it helps me out if you use them. Uh, you'll get the same price regardless but if you use my links I get a small commission from Gearbest and that helps me to get more knives to review because as most of you know I live on a fairly tight disability pension Let's talk about the size of this blade. Um, this blade is two and three quarter inches long. So uh, that keeps you away from the three inch law uh, within it. That's seven centimeters. The handle is three and three quarter inches. That's about nine and a half centimeters. The whole thing measured is six and a half inches. That's about 16 and a half centimeters. The thickness of the blade is 2.6 millimeters. It's a little bit thicker, just you know, a tiny bit thicker than a lot of uh, their knives are. Uh, that's just over 0 0.1 inches, but not an eighth of an inch yet. And the knife itself, it's over half an inch thick here, about 1.4 centimeters or so thick this way. So it's a little too thick and it's a little too heavy also for it to be considered a, dis a discrete knife that I would drop into the bottom of my pocket and carry that way. And so I would tend to carry it with the clip. The clip leaves just shy of half of an inch sticking out of your pocket. Um, the clip holds rather well. It's designed well. It doesn't, it's not too humongous, but it is a little bit showy out of your pocket. Um, it grips okay on the texture of these handle scales. The handle scales are made of PA66 with glass fiber. Um, and the texture that they've put on them that you just sort of see in this video uh, gives enough purchase just on the general texture, but then they've also got these um, striation type uh, 
lines routed out on it that also help out with uh, a bit of the grippiness. And it's big enough to be, if I put my index finger in the middle of this choil, it's a definite three finger grip on, for somebody with a large hand like I have, with a little bit of the pinky doing not so much back here. You've got a good room for a lanyard hole right here. It doesn't have a tube in the lanyard hole, but with this back spacer, it is a tunnel. So it's pretty easy to fish a, a line of paracord through there. Um, the hole is definitely thick enough for 550 paracord and you just sort of work it through there and uh, pull it out the other side. There we go. Oh, doesn't want to come out that way that well. Let's try it the other way. There we go. What I did here is I flattened out the, uh, I added some heat to this end and for the about three quarters of an inch, I flattened it down being very careful not to overheat it so I wouldn't burn my fingers when I did. But that's how you can get the uh, paracord, 550 paracord, seven strand through there, no problem at all. And let's talk about some more details before we focus back on the blade again. It's a um, Torx construction, so Torx screws throughout. And we've got a bit of a glass breaker and that glass breaker has, I'll try to hold this as still as I can so it'll focus. You see that darker tip? That is tungsten. So there's some tungsten on the tip of the glass breaker, which makes it very hard and strong, and it should break glass rather well. I've not used this um, actual knife to uh, break any automobile glass, but it should be able to do that. Uh, tungsten is very good for that kind of roll. So let's get back to the blade. What we've got in this just sub three inch knife is a really nice hollow grind, drop point with a swedge, so it looks rather sharp, a nice thumb ramp with some jimping, and it's all this satin finish. Um, it's quite a shiny satin finish, you know, far from being a mirror finish, but it's, you know, nice and shiny. And um, you can still see just a little bit of the sand lines coming down, but they've polished it up rather well. And uh, they put on thumb studs that are slightly bigger than they have on a lot of their knives. But the placement on the blade compared to the handle here is just perfect for flicking out the knife. So the blade is really nice and feels good. A great big belly, a nice flat area. Um, the handle feels really good in the hand. Uh, the liner lock locks up. Uh, very well, not too early, but early enough that it's got a fair bit of wear life in it. Uh, this back spacer is probably the same PA66 as the handle scales are, but it looks slightly different. Uh, perhaps it doesn't have the glass fiber in it. Who knows? Uh, this nice big choil here not only makes it uh, easy to, you know, open the knife, you know, giving you some space to get behind that thumb stud. But it gives you really good purchase when you're using the knife. Although it's basically a three finger grip for somebody with a large hand or bigger, um, you get a lot of good purchase on it. The uh, thumb jimping here on this ramp is really gentle, so it doesn't create any hot spots at all. And uh, my thumb sort of rests right over halfway up the ramp and halfway down this drop. And you know, I get a lot of good purchase that way to cut. And, uh, you know, I cut a fair bit of cardboard and um, other such, you know, wooden things, some pine, shaved it a little bit, made, even did the bush uh, bushcrafting feather stick thing with this knife. It worked really well. You know, it's a good knife. I like it a lot. Let's do some cut tests so I can demonstrate how well it cuts. Photocopy paper. Just doing a push cut. Let's try a little bit of paracord. And it just zips through that, no problem at all. And um, if you're doing some tabletop cutting, it cuts through that rather easily as well. Um, if we try a little bit of this banding, that's an inch wide. And again, it just slides through that ever so easily. If you uh, like this knife, 
you know, it's a recommend. There's no reason not to buy it unless you're very picky about the clip. If you like the video, please click on like in the lower right-hand corner down here or in the lower left-hand corner if you know somebody who's looking for a small knife that is small in price but big in quality, you know, recommend this knife to them. If you are not yet a subscriber, I'd really like to ask you to subscribe. That would help me out. And whatever you do, cut towards your chum and not your thumb. My son asked me, what's a chum? That's the guy sitting beside you. Cut towards him, not yourself. Have a good day, folks. Bye now.